Hello, everybody. Wolfpack here, and welcome to another Silent Hunter 4 stream. Uh, these have been happening quite often because, frankly, I am hooked <laughs> on Silent Hunter 4. So, uh, yeah, I'll be playing again tonight. This should be a slightly longer stream, I hope. So, uh, hopefully we'll finish up this current patrol we're on and move on to our next one. I'm hoping to make this like a consistent streaming thing. I'm actually fairly free this week, relatively speaking, so that's why I've been streaming so much. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get underway here. It's just this intro, this title screen here is pretty freaking awesome. I can't get enough of it. Alright, let's go ahead and load the game. And load here. Hey, what's up, Bastion? Thanks for uh, stopping by. Welcome to the stream. Alright. Let's go ahead and move this. So I think we completed our objective. Hey, what's up, Ronald? Welcome to the stream. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So we sunk the enemy heavies. We destroyed a Takeo heavy cruiser. But we still have to go to patrol area 04 and uh, stay in that area for five days. Alright, let's see. And we are currently in that patrol area. That Japanese task force was heading northeast up here, so I don't think we're going to try to re-engage. Uh, they're probably already on very high alert since one of their cruisers went down. Uh, let's see, so we sunk the heavy cruiser, small split freighter, and a small oiler. But currently, we're pretty low on torpedoes. Looks like we're down to six torpedoes. We've expended quite a few of them. Uh, there's nowhere really convenient to resupply. So we might just stay here, head home, in the patrol, and continue onward. Uh, Java is not going to be, or Sarabaya here, is not going to be a base for much longer anyway. <laughs> yeah, feeding the feeding the sharks. Yeah, that's what, what we've been doing here. There's a big smoke cloud behind us. I don't know what that's all about. Alright, let's go ahead and go yes, standard. Hey, what's up, comrade? Hey, auto fire. But other than that, I think everything's hunky dory. Hey, what's up, Zachary? And yeah, I was. Your grandfather's stories always seem to be pretty <laughs> exciting. Yeah, Polaris. Streaming again. I was saying at the beginning, I am just hooked on this game and I have a lot of free time this week I should have a lot of free time next week as well thankfully uh, so I do expect to be streaming a bit more I also need to uh, get to work on my next flying circus series I plan to do that soon and uh, Silent Hunter 3 of course as always hello Mike How long will this stream be? Oh boy, I'm not sure. I can probably go for an hour or two, maybe even longer. Gonna need some time compression here. Getting some weird flickering. <laughs> will do, Jeffrey. I'll be prepared. Let's see, I think we got a radio message. USS Swordfish evacuates American High Commissioner to the Philippines and a to the Philippines and a party of twelve plus five naval enlisted personnel. Hey, what's up, Matt? Oh, just finished watching part two. Yeah, I didn't know how the uh, the stream. Oh boy, we're not even following our course. I'm gonna follow our course here. I didn't know how rewatching the stream would be, if it would be as enjoyable. Uh, but it seems to have a decent following. Hey, you bought the game for yourself, uh, Mr. Jormez? Jormez? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've definitely butchered that. What's up, Striker? Hey, wise guys, welcome to the stream.
Certainly seems that way, Zachary. Well, we'll continue up our patrol in this area. Unfortunately, the torpedo situation is pretty poor. Oh boy, I forgot I moved these guys inside. We need to move them onto the bridge. There we go. That should be okay. Uh, did I ever think about trying War Ace campaign? I, I have tried it. Um, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan. It's pretty unstable, from what I've noticed. So I don't think I'll ever do a YouTube series in it. Unfortunately. We'll head north after we finish this last leg up here. And we'll see if we can get anything out here. And let's make sure our uh, SD radar is on. Yep, sure it is. Operational news received. All right, effective immediately, shift base of operations to Perth Fremantle on Western Australia. Oh, we still have this icon, but this should switch. So this is going to be our new base of operations way down here. A new Surabai wouldn't last too much longer. So I might, once we finish this up, maybe I can make it back to Surabaya to refit and then continue on our patrol. We'll see how long uh, the Surabaya stays operational, however. Pacifist SH-4 campaign? Oh no, definitely not. Alright, there's an aircraft coming towards us. Let's go ahead and uh, emergency dive. Alright, man, down we go. when we are going to be able to get a better anti-aircraft gun. All right, and we are going down. We're going to drop down pretty deep. Let's go ahead and go down to 90 feet. Yes, sir. New depth, eight, nine. Current yes. depth, six, zero, eight, nine. Oh, that's cool, Jeffrey. Yeah, I know a lot of people use DaVinci Resolve for video editing. Pretty sure Tortuga does. Alright, dropping down. Currently at 80 feet. We'll go ahead and slow the boat down. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Alright, let's take a listen on the hydrophones. This little light's very nice. Whenever it picks up a sound, it lights up for me. What's the what's the conning tower problem, comrade? We mean not upgrading to out of the bathtub style conning towers? I believe that only happened with the Tambor class in uh, Trigger Maru. I don't got to surface the boat. I'll hit standard. I guess we can get a little closer to Borneo here. We'll see. I don't know how long we've been uh, <laughs> in this operational area. Obviously not five days yet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, dive again. Let's go ahead and go down to 100 yes, feet. Sir. Yes, sir. Check our hydrophones. Zero. Current depth, four, zero. 
Um, da da. I guess you mostly mean destroyers, right? I mean, just low and slow, constantly changing course, heading flank whenever you hear depth charges in the water. That's what I do, and it seems to work out. If you're getting shot at by cruisers, you've done something wrong. <laughs> All right. No, nope, nothing. Just our engines. All right, we'll stay underwater for a little bit. Maybe around an hour. All right, it's going to surface, and all has standard. Make sure our SD air search radar is on. Oh. oh, air contact. Setting for us. All right, emergency dive. Oh, wrong button. This key binding thing is going to mess me up. Down we go again. Look at, the, look at those dive planes. This boat actually seems to dive relatively quickly. Consider consider doing an SH4 tutorial? You mean on like the target data computer or six zero? Can you surface in near a fishing village and deck gun and fire the deck gun into the town square? Unfortunately no. Uh, no, I've never had that problem, Tommy. The conning tower is positioned towards the stern of the boat? No, I've, I've never encountered that. Burn dead. One, and two, yes, I am fighting the Japanese. Yes, sir. One All right. Let's level out. Yes, Oh, still nothing. That Japanese troop convoy passed through here not too long ago, so. Surprised there's nothing else. Which is fine. Go ahead and resurface and uh, continue on our merry way. Operational news received. USS S-38 bombards probable Japanese radio position at Sangpura with 72 rounds of 4-inch ammo. Cool. Oh. What do we want to do? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Go ahead and clear the map. There we go. Nice and clean. Oh, I've never played that game, Blood Bubbles. 
During the battle, the, the battle of the Java Sea begins and continues for three days, during which the Allies under command of the Dutch Admiral Carl Dorman lose five cruisers and six destroyers, while the Japanese lose just four transports. Oh boy, we're getting... Alright. USS S-39 lands on Chippy Island and searches for 40 British refu refugees from Singapore, none located. All right, and from Com Sub Pack, the carrier USS Langley has gone down today in the Java Sea. Be advised, Japanese air forces maintain a strong presence in the area. I want to finish up. I want to head down there. Should I? Oh, I'm recording apparently. Get rid of that. Should I ignore my orders and head down there? There's gonna be all sorts of crap down there. Uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Merchants. Bearing nine five long range. It's just a lone merchant ship, too. Okay, there's a warship as well. Sonar and warship closing. Bearing nine four yes, long sir. range. All right, let's go ahead and head full. Head full. Change course slightly as well. New course two eight four. New course, oh, your two, big eight, meatball heads four. in the way. Get it? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, there's nothing out there. Yeah, the hell with orders. All right, it looks like these guys are in the same location of those two other merchant ships I sunk. See, is it only? Uh, there's more contacts than just two. Okay. Yeah, this is another task force, definitely. Probably heading towards the Java Sea. Fortunately, the torpedo, torpedo situation is rather low. Oh, we'll see what we can do here. Hey, what's up, Marino? Mariano? Welcome to the channel, man. Well, is there a way to add AA on the front and rear of the conning tower and add a, a deck gun front and rear? Yeah, you can adjust your guns, but... uh. You're stuck with the bathtub style of conning tower like we have now until around 1943-44 time frame. Alright, merchant spotted. Seven, two, long range. There's a merchant ship. Okay, that's definitely a pretty hefty troop ship right there. Okay, I can see something on the horizon. It looks like another cruiser. That's it. Can't see much else. Um, there's quite a bit of stuff out there. I can't make it out, though. But that Ship's is spotted. beefy. All right, let's go ahead and maintain current orders. Let's change course. New heading 240. New course. Two, four, zero. get out of here try to engage at a later time what a bad time terrible timing the Sun is just now coming up run silent run deep is pretty good Noah uh, summer and <laughs> hunt for red October uh, but Run Silent, Run Deep is probably my second su favorite submarine movie. I mean, you have a lot of that, you know, 1940s war movie cheese, but... Well, so pretty much... The conning tower has a anti-air emplacement, generally bofers or something like that, in the front, and then some stuff in the back. Uh, just look up a Baleo class submarine. Most submarines had that configuration that you see pictures of. It 
There was also uh, Destination Tokyo, which wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, there's not very many modern World War II submarine movies. Okay, these guys are pretty much they're on a more aggressive course towards us than I anticipated. All ahead flank. Let's go ahead and man battle stations. It's like they're heading fast. I anticipate around 16 knots. Mark. We'll time him for a minute. It's not nearly as accurate, but uh, it might be the best I can do right now. All right, and mark. We'll keep going for the whole three minutes, but just in case. All right, 15 knots. All right, we're spotting more of them, damn. That is a beefy troop transport. Let's go ahead and send a report to sub pack. Looks like we have a few light cruisers, four stackers, and the uh, task force up ahead. That merchant ship right there is definitely, definitely looks like a really good target for me though. See, and that looks like another Takeo heavy cruiser. All right, passing two minutes now. Might actually be able be in a pretty good position here. get my crew to identify the target. Ship Landing ship Shinu Maru. It's only 7,000 tons. Man, look at that thing though. Okay, so the Takeo might be primary target. I guess it's pretty empty. No cargo or anything like that. It's just holding troops. That would be, might be a helpful target for us to take out, though. Oh, we shit. We just passed three minutes. So we'll have to guess here. Okay, we're going to have to die very, very shortly. 15 knots. Alright, let's keep... Let's see, how far will we be from the farthest ship? It's almost 9,000 yards. I'm gonna continue to try to close. All right. Uh, Love your videos. Hey, thanks, White Raven. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's see here. Indicates to be an important target. Attack and destroy as possible. Do not interfere with previous objective assignments. Oh, our previous... Actually, are we still in our objective area? Yeah, we are just in it. Let's see. What's the range? Give me a range to target, please. I'm the most useless measurement ever. Yes, sir. They're 37,000 feet away. Looks like the Takeo is the closest thing to us. 
All right, we're going to dive. All right. Yes, Periscope sir. depth. Periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. It's extremely calm. And the Japanese are definitely known for their spotting capabilities. And down we go. All ahead standard. Yes, sir. Ahead standard. All right, let's go ahead and move the deck watch inside. There we go. And let's go ahead and change course. Just head two seven zero. New course. New course. Six nine. Yeah, welcome, Jason. I'm sure you'll be doing a lot of that. Like that's it. Go ahead and lower our scope. I could try to go to go for the transport component of this task force instead of focusing on the warships, which might be a little too honestly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these guys, but there is a second component to the task force, and they're lagging behind a whole bunch of merchants back there. I might end up going for them. See, maximum range is 9,000 yards. Might actually. Yeah, we're within 9,000 yards. already know what this is. Takeo, yep, Takeo class. Takao, whatever. Alright, Mark. Turn, let's see. Over 9,000 yards away. I think this Takao heavy cruiser might be sailing behind our merchant friend here. I kind of want to take out the troop ship. I think that might be... Let's see, how close is the merchant ship? 9,000 yards. Yeah. 
I might end up waiting for the merchant component. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. There's no way I'm gonna be able to lob shots that way. They're also zigzagging occasionally. It's just not a good shot. Maybe I can hit one of these guys though. Looks like a seaplane tender. Ikea class. There we go. 5,000 tons. Let's go ahead and slow down. Yes, sir. Ahead, standard. Let's get a range check on this landing ship. All right, seven thousand yards. That's doable. Six thousand yards for the Takao. So maybe two at the Takao and then one at our merchant friend here. Angle on bow is going to be very difficult to judge here. I want to say eighty degrees, uh, maybe closer to seventy-five. Yeah, 75 degrees. Let's go ahead and get another measurement here. Let's try again. Now I got 8,000 yards. It's just so far, it's hard to get an accurate range. Okay, set speed 15 knots. JT Brown, thanks for the donation, man. Been enjoying your campaign content. Thanks, I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for the donation. Turn on position keeper. So this is at 7,600 yards. And closing. I feel like they have one landing ship in this convoy, and that's really going to hamper their efforts. See how close is the landing ship. It's around the same. Okay, let's go for the landing ship. It's what, only a 5,000 tonner? I'm sure just one torpedo will do fine. I already messed it, I bet. Seven thousand tons. All right, open tubes two and three. AOB. Yeah, we'll do seventy degrees. Fort. Mark one last range reading. Mark eight thousand yards. Speed low. We'll do contact influence. Draft is nineteen point seven feet. So we'll set our torpedo depth to twenty one feet. 21 feet, no offset angle. All right, tube two, let's make sure everything's okay. Hopefully they didn't change speed and tube two fire. Yeah, that should be okay. Tube three, fire. All right, that's all I'm gonna shoot right now. Let's check our solution here. 
Oh, range is definitely bad. I don't know about this one, folks. We'll see, though. Looks like they might be actually changing course here. Yeah, that's not going to hit, unfortunately. Well, that's definitely going to alert them, though. Damn it. Well, we have this whole Congo line behind us. <laughs> might slam into this little guy. Oh, maybe it will hit. Well, let's take a look. Bearing for long range. Yeah, it was kind of a long shot anyway. That's why. I, and they're all. They definitely spotted the Mark 14s because they do leave that nasty wake on the surface. Let's see if we can find it. Oh. Uh. You know, it's actually not looking too bad. And oh wow, I think we might hit it. And these are perfect angles for Mark 14s. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed with that. I am, someone mentioned earlier, I am terrible at identifying ships. Oh no, it ran out of steam. Or one of them. Torpedo missed, sir. Oh, God damn it. That is really disappointing. Are they really that far out? Said maximum range was 9,000 yards at 31 knot speed. Well, at least we knew I hit them in my art. That kind of blows chunks though. All right, well, now they know I'm here. Let's go ahead and slow down to one third. Can hit one of these guys at least. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, uh, Japanese destroyers moving towards us. Might have to dive before I am able to get shots off. Yeah, he's coming. Down scope. Let's go ahead and get under. Let's go down to 150 feet. Yeah, I'm surprised they ran out of steam. I mean, I launched my torpedoes at around 7,000 yards, right? Oh well. It probably would have been does anyway. Let's take a look at. I hey mean, those. <laughs> I bet all of those troops on that troop ship were very scared right there. Because those were definitely going to hit. It's a cool looking ship. Oh, look, it has a little landing craft on it. Man, that would have been not good if I would have sunk this for all those Japanese sailors inside and been kind of grim. Current depth, one, zero, zero. Well, you win some, you lose some. All right, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. I'm gonna have to head. I'm gonna head down to Java and refit because this torpedo situation is pretty bad. So we'll go ahead and all ahead one third and rig for silent running. Ahead one third. Have I tried uh, getting into the convoy? Yeah, I've done it. It's Silent Hunter Four. I don't think I've really done it in this one. Uh, Japanese convoys, though for the most part, were significantly smaller than uh, the convoys in the Atlantic. But this one's a, this is a pretty big one here.
Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys are heading towards Java. Well, I would wait and... The problem is tracking these guys on the surface in this area with a lot of Japanese air cover, very shallow water, and also it's very... <laughs> there's not much distance here at very, a certain point, so... Um, yeah. That's the issue I'm, I'm facing here. I'm going to try to make it to Sarabaya before it falls. Get some eels loaded up and then head back out. Alright, see you later, Zachary. Looks like that ashore is looking for me. Let's go ahead and drop down a little more. Let's go down to 180 feet. I mean, they're definitely going to the same place I am. Just part of the problem. Looks like three Japanese ashore is hunting for me. And they buggered off. All right, let's go ahead and continue on our course. Oh, <laughs> we've completed our objective, yay. All right, let's go ahead and secure from battle stations. Let's take a look. Uh, Cause serious damage to the enemy task force. We did not complete that. Unfortunately, but uh, maybe we can re-engage. Okay, we'll go ahead and surface and uh, kind of follow behind them. We'll go at nine knots. They'll definitely beat us to our destination. Yeah, I did, Jake. I also sunk uh, a few cruisers and pitched and absolute darkness using only hydrophones using that method. That's probably my best Silent Hunter movement ever. Or moment. Alright, another plane coming towards us. Let's go ahead and uh, emergency dive. Alright, let's get under. Alright. Oh boy, another radar contact. He's heading back this way. Let's go ahead and go back under. Yes, sir. Bye. All right, it's night time. Should be good to surface. Yeah, I have a few people that downvote all my videos, Gilmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Java C equals death. Yeah, that's going to be pretty sketchy right now. Yes. There are a couple of Japanese points heading towards me. Yeah, Jake. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, that was definitely one of the most intense fights I've had for my boat. That ending of my Silent Hunter 4 series. Probably That's probably my favorite Silent Hunter episode I've released. Let's see. Is there any way to change the contrast at night during Silent Hunter 3? Nope, there is not. I boost my contrast in video editing for YouTube so you guys can actually see something. Mm. 
Oh, resurface, all that standard. Thanks, White Raven. Oh my goodness. The place is crawling with Japanese planes. We're going to stay submerged during the day and then surface at night. Um, so, let's see. Ridge asked, is my anti-aircraft good on this boat? No, it is not. It is 150 caliber machine gun. That is my anti-aircraft armament. Right, let's go down. Let's go down to 90 feet and hit slow. We'll have to surface at night. Oh no, Surabai is no longer an operational base. So it looks like this is though. I can refit here possibly. Can also, you know, that's it. Hmm. I can head down here and try to refit. I think I or refuel. Let's do it. We'll have to book it though. If we're gonna make it in time. Man, fuel is not touched at all. Uh, currently, we're in March 2nd. It's March 2nd, 1942. Uh, just fly on by, Japanese plane. Radar contact. And that guy's heading for us. Let's get under. Planes are just a nuisance. Thanks, Ron. The subtender just left. I'm sure, uh, you know, refueling and everything <laughs> in Surabaya at the moment is very hazardous. Oh, welcome to the stream, Celtic. Another Japanese plane. Okay, down we go. Down to 100 yes, feet. Sir. Just like clockwork to avoid them. Yes, sir. New deck. Seven. Seven. I want to make it down here, but I don't think we will. Alright, surface, standard. Oh, we've been getting some messages. Uh, USS Permit delivers her allowance of ammo to Corregidor. Evacs 31 U.S. Naval personnel and recovers three torpedoes. All right, let's. Radar contact. Four, eight, long range. Oh boy, it's coming for us. Let's go ahead and dive down to around 100 feet. Yeah, our anti-aircraft armament is pretty much non-existent. Oh, we'll keep making our way through the Java Sea here. Hopefully, this base is still operational when we get there. If it's not, I probably will go all the way down to Fremantle and in the patrol. And we'll set it out again later. Another plane coming for us. Bring us down. Thanks, you suck. Oh, looks like the sun's about to set here. Whoa. <laughs> How close we are to the bottom. Okay, let's come up a little bit. Let's go to 70 yes, feet. Sir. New deck. Seven, zero. Look at that. Yes, sir. Seven, zero. That's a pretty cool shot right there. Screenshot. Have I ever thought about doing uh, Steel Beast? Videos on Steel Beast? Oh, not really. 
If I'm gonna do a simulator, uh, a tank simulator, I'm gonna do, um, oh my god, IL-2 tank crew. That's gonna be what's on the channel. I plan on doing the German campaign first. Maybe I'll do the Russian one. I started the Russian one already, like in my spare time, and it's quite good. Don't get caught in the seaweed? Yeah, oh my goodness. Alright, surface the boat. Oh my goodness. That's heading away. I wonder what these planes are, if they're carrier-based or land-based. We might find out soon enough. Depth on their keel is currently 86 feet, so I'll probably start diving to periscope depth now. Don't want to risk slamming into the seabed. Hey, we've made it a pretty long ways without any uh, Japanese air presence. What the heck is going on? String of successes. USS Perch, last enemy action off Sarabaya. Uh, okay, it looks like... Tiku Maru cargo, tanker sunk, and uh, unknown Maru cargo, 4,000 tons. Narwhal, S-39, and SS-203, USS Tuna, sunk a ship. Hey, what's up, Gilmer? Hey, Will. Oh, Gilmer, you've been here. <laughs> All right. Looks like we'll be okay. And we'll head into the Java Sea after this and get into some trouble. Plans to refit here. Oh, it looks like we made it in time. Yeah, I figured that out, Gilmer. <laughs> it took me a minute. Oh my goodness, it it's no longer an operational refit area. Is Darwin? Darwin isn't either. Well, with uh, this lot of torpedoes, I don't think we're going to do very well. So we'll head all the way down to Fremantle and uh, go out on our next patrol, I suppose. Man, that's just my luck. First, my torpedoes run just short, and then uh, when we're just about to make it, it goes away. Alright, so we're going to use just a, a buttload of time compression here. That blows chunks. <laughs> uh, oh well. Yeah, I don't know if I'll get a new sub after this. Uh, patrol. I might have one more. Yeah, time to head towards Aus Australia. Welcome, Mr. 660. Welcome to the stream, man. Pack news. Alright. Japanese forces have invaded Java. Coffee, coffee rationing begins tomorrow. Just be happy we don't... They don't invade Virginia. Oh. Uh, Uh, USS Shark SS-174 lost. Report overdue. Presume lost in Madagascar Strait. The Narwhal is. Uh, 
All right. Let's go nuts with it. All right. Aircraft from the American carriers Lexington and Yorktown make attacks on the Japanese at Ley and Samola. Uh, Ragoon fail, falls to the Japanese forces. British 7th Armored escapes through escapes through the noose. College football finals. Ohio State takes the NFC Championship with 9-1 and one record. Hey, I like the radio messages in this mod. They're very, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it seems like they're working on a B-17 game, Craig. I don't know. I, I still remain skeptical about that. Yeah, I've heard of them, Jake, but I haven't played it. All right, we're going to, we're going to enter a patrol here, and I'll go back out to sea. All right, time to drop down the time compression here. And hello, Fremantle, Australia. We've been changing ports quite frequently. <laughs> Which is what makes the Asiatic Fleet campaign a bit more interesting. Because uh, obviously as the Japanese advance, you lose your home port. Uh, not too much Soviet, uh, unicorn. I don't think I've actually sunk anything since the last, yeah. We launched a few torpedoes and another task force, unfortunately. The torpedoes ran short. And, uh, ended up missing their targets. Um, we were heading down to Surabaya to refit whenever the subtender left. And then there was also a subtender down here somewhere. I think it was... I don't remember. Yeah, it was in here. And that left right as we arrived. So I was not able to refit our torpedoes. And with such puny, uh, with only four torpedoes, we wouldn't have been able to do too much. So I made the decision to head home. It's an aircraft carrier. Yeah, I have done a Silent Hunter 4 campaign, Ridge. Uh, it was an Asiatic campaign. That's why I started in... I think I transferred to Pearl Harbor at the very end before uh, I met my fate. But I have not started a Silent Hunter 4 career on YouTube starting at Pearl Harbor, I guess. Alright, lots of ships here, lots of stuff. Look at all that. Alright. Oh, hello. All right, well with that, let's go ahead and end the patrol. Yeah, I want a dog. All right, we completed two of our objectives. Uh, that last task force, unfortunately, we launched torpedoes at, but they, uh, they missed. Or the torpedoes ran short. Two merchant ships sunk, one warship sunk, 19,155 tons of shipping sent down to the bottom. We've got it. Oh boy. Our intel guys have broken the Japanese communications code and we finally have the chance to do something real about it. A Japanese amphibious assault is on its way towards Port Moresby. The fall of Port Moresby and the rest of New Guinea would provide the Japs with a platform ideally placed for an offensive towards New Caledonia, Fiji, and Samoa, which would cut our supply lines between Hawaii, Panama, and Australia. 
It would also strengthen the line of defense for their newly acquired oil sortie. Since we stopped them to the north on the mountain line, Japan's only choice is to approach through Coral Sea for the attack. Our intelligence predicts that invasion forces would be escorted by at least two fleet carriers. To counter their intentions, we have ordered the only two battle-ready carriers we have at the moment to take position off the New Hebrides. With help from land-based air power, we might match the Japanese attack and turn the tables on them. To support this operation, our submarines will patrol the area between New Britain and Bougainville. They will provide advanced scouting to the U.S. task force and may get to take a shot at a Japanese flat top. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that's very morale boosting right there. Fortunately, we don't get a new boat. We have one promotion to hand out. Who wants it? Let's see. Uh, we'll give someone in the control room the promotion. And we'll give him command. Yeah. Uh, does this mod work for the German campaign side of the game? No, it does not. Now I'm just going to give these out. Asiatic Pacific campaign medals. I'm going to give it to all my officers first. Navy Commendation Medal. Well, we'll give that to my watch crew. Who I forgot to move back. I need to just stop moving them if I'm going to forget it. That might have been part of my problem with spotting things. <laughs> oh my god. Oopsies. Any upgrades? No anti-aircraft gun upgrades, it seems. Right? No, nothing. Uh, it's historical, X. Oh, nothing to upgrade. Alright, well, I guess that's really it here. Nothing else to really do. But we could transfer to Pearl Harbor, but I'd rather not. I'd rather stay right where we're at. Uh, proceed to directly to area E3 and stand by for further orders. Okay. And we'll start docked within the harbor. Click the AA mount. Yeah, there's there's nothing I can do. I just have a 50 caliber machine gun. There's no upgrades. Hey, well, welcome, Gizmos. Hey, yes, right, welcome, Evan. All right, let's get the hell out of here. What's the date? Ship spotted. April 15th, 1942. I got to make this long journey up the coast of Australia. Um, I could go through this strait, but that seems rather dangerous. We're going to take the long way around. Through here. Through the Banda Sea. Flores. Make sure we don't hit any tiny little islands. And we'll come around into the Java Sea. Yes, Alright, heading standard. I believe it was, Jake. Uh, this music is from Silent Hunter 4, Craig. The main menu music? I'm not sure where the modders got it from, but it's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Finnish? Just a couple of S-boats. Oh, there's another boat leaving port. Let's go ahead. We'll wait to turn on our air search radar. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and leave port here. I will be right back.
Ship spotted. Bearing five, five, medium range. Ship spotted. Bearing one, two, six, short range. Oh, USS Pike survived the war. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks, Mr. 66. Last time I saw you was when you sank that cruiser, the torpedo. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not a whole lot has happened. Yep, I've ended multiple playthroughs like that, <laughs> Soviet. Get out of here. Oh, really finished? Some other people were uh, saying that too. Ship spotted. Bearing six, three, hey, thanks, Alan. Range. Uh, I think a Takao heavy cruiser in the last stream uh, finish. Alright, bye Fremantle. Or Takeo. I'm not sure the correct way to pronounce it. I've always said Takeo. Thanks, Mark. Alright, let's get out of here. Make sure our course doesn't bring us in front of any little islands. Yeah, I haven't had too many screw ups yet. Nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing too bad. I've been pretty hooked on Silent Hunter 4 though. I'm streamed two days in a row, which is nuts. Although I do have a fair bit of free time right now. To cow. Gotcha, finish. Well, you're the expert. Thanks, Gilmore. I'll see you later, man. You accidentally sank a friendly fleet carrier? Yikes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you'd get canned for that. <laughs> I I don't see a scenario where you would uh Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure our air search radar is on. Who is oh. 
other than YouTube, what do I do with myself? I work a lot. I have some other things I do. Like hobby-wise, I'm kind of into 40k. Or I just play video games. Yeah, I enjoy Wolves of the Pacific. Uh, Wolves of the Pacific as well. Um, someone asked. There's a question about mods. Which has the better gameplay with mods, Silent Hunter Three or Four? They're both both very similar. Uh, yeah, you can encounter U-boats in this game. You can also play U-boats as well. Hey, what's up, James? I should play Minecraft. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a I have a Minecraft masterpiece just cooking. It's in the oven right now. Don't worry about it. You'll get your Minecraft, all right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so many, so many messages to go through here. Alright, here we go. In an act of American ingenuity, Doolittle leads bombing raid on Tokyo. Give them hell, boys. Alright. U.S. Army Colonel James H. Doolittle laid 16 B-25 bombers from the, air, from the carrier Hornet in the first ever air raid on Japan. They took off about 750 miles east of the Japanese capital, Tokyo. The escort fighters were provided by the fighter wing of the carrier Enterprise. Bombs were dropped on the main enemy cities of Tokyo, Kobe, and Yokohama, Nagoa, and Yasuka. I definitely butchered uh, Nagoya. Oh, whatever. Only one aircraft was damaged during the raid, although all 16 planes were lost. That's that's an interesting spin. Only one aircraft was damaged, but we lost all 16 of them. When they crash landed in China during this raid, uh, China. This daring raid was a welcome morale boost for our nation and it proved that the Japanese mainland is with our armed forces reach. All right. What's my favorite ship that I've sunk in any Silent Hunter game? Oh boy, uh, probably my most memorable attack is uh, in my Silent Hunter 4 series. Where I do the, uh, I attack the, what the, potential shoals area. Interesting. Oh, uh, but anyway, my favorite, my most interesting attack was in the slot here in Silent Hunter 4. Whenever I attacked a portion of the Tokyo Express in the middle of night in rough weather using only hydrophones. That's definitely, I forgot what episode it was, but that is definitely my most memorable attack. I think I sunk uh, a, f a few Takao heavy cruisers. Oh, you want to see the boat? I'll, I'll wait for daytime and then we can take a look at the boat. OG Oni? Yeah, get excited. Get excited for that Minecraft gameplay. It's coming. Alright, let's... Yeah, Rick, I have a schedule for Silent Hunter 3. I upload one episode every... What? Uh, Friday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So it's a weekly series. It might seem longer than it is, but uh, it's, it's weekly. It, it's cooking. It's in the oven right now. Yeah, Jake, that's definitely my best attack ever 
I think I'll remember that one for a while. So it won't be hard to top that. No, yeah, that, I man, I need to go back and watch that. Honestly, there's so many, so many aspects of that Silent Hunter 4 series are really good. I don't know. I think it's probably my best series. But I don't know. I think I've actually, I'm still improving. Uh, my Silent Hunter 3 series is definitely better produced now. It didn't only get better. Yeah, Sky Talent. I'm probably going to go back and watch it after this. Think of uh, what happened to me. nothing much all right I'm gonna stay up here I'm gonna go get myself some more drink I know it hasn't been that long but I just ran out so I will be right back momentarily
All right, I'm back. Uh, big drink, yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's drinking G Fuel. No, they don't sponsor me. Not yet, anyway. I'm look. I'm working for it. <laughs> uh, gorgeous game. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. There you go. Just trying to inject a little bit of realism into the series. Uh Oh, USS Taltog sunk RO30 submarine. Hey, welcome, Lazau. Oh, boy. We're heading southwest. New message received. They might be heading through this slot here. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to continue on course, and that's kind of far away. Let's jog our course more up, however, in an attempt to find them. Yeah, let's... Yeah, we'll maintain this though. SD is on. Be advised, ma major Japanese naval contingent converging in Coral Sea area. All nearby, uh, the all nearby patrol vessels requested. Oh my goodness, requested to take appropriate measures. That means blow them out of the water. Okay. Well, that's a little far, unfortunately, for us. I don't know. I wish I could take appropriate measures. Let's go ahead and a head full. <laughs> appropriate measures <laughs> means blow them out of the water. That's fantastic. Oh, merchant. Looks like a lawn merchant. All right, all ahead full. Yes, ahead full. It said south, southeast, yeah. New if it's just a lawn merchant, we'll engage with our deck gun. Looks like he's heading north, northeast. Apparently it's a small group. Two merchant ships. Any escort? Uh, it looks like this one in the back might be armed. Hmm. Can't make it out just yet. They're kind of heading straight for us, so I'm probably going to set up a submerged attack here. I'm going to change course a little bit. Battle stations. I think this one is armed. It looks like it has a deck gun on the aft portion. So I might shoot this one with torpedoes in the surface and finish the second one off with the deck gun. Our 
I'll head flank. So they're going seven, or it looks like just eight knots. Okay, that's believable. Oh no, six knots. The math. All right, well we're closing on their track. Let's see, we're currently. just under 5,000 yards from their current track, and we should be able to make the rest of that journey submerge. So let's go ahead and go down to periscope depth. Periscope depth. Yes, I know I'm crazy, don't it? I'm addicted. I can't get enough Silent Hunter 4 <laughs> right now. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm still alive, Jeffrey. We and down we go. Turn that off. All right, let's go ahead and go down to two thirds. The music's annoying. I can see sound settings. I'm turn it down a little bit. Ahead, slow. Now the game's a little uh, quiet for me, so I'm gonna turn down the music and turn up the game. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. Is there a way to invert the mouse? Uh, not that I know of. Zzz, Y, Z, X, one, two, two, seven. SH4 is awesome. Uh, what's the closest I've come to losing my boat? You mean in this series? Because I've lost my boats before. Um, just watch the last episode of my Silent Hunter 4 series <laughs> to find out. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's maintain two thirds speed. And actually, let's scope down. Let's go standard and try to close on their track before they get here. They are moving mighty slow, so this should not be an issue. All right, we're good. All ahead, one third. This will be fine here. Let's take a look. Alright, there's our two targets. Go 
go ahead and identify. Target identified, apparently. Mm, guess not. All right, split merchant. Split merchant. 6,550 tons, speed 12 knots, draft 28.5 feet. We'll set tube up, tube one up for it. We'll do speed high, contact influence, let's, let's see, 28.9 feet. We'll set depth to 30 feet. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, and zero offset angle. Up scope. Angle on bow, do 20 degrees port. Range. Uh, it's pretty close. Let's see, 5,204 yards. Target speed, established six knots. Turn on position keeper. And they'll slowly chug our way. Oh, you're right. All right, they said plot show six knots, so my crew is on board with me. All right, so everything is looking good here. Target AOB is slowly changing. So we'll go ahead and down scope and we'll wait for them to be in an optimal position. I guess I could actually, let's take a look at the, uh, the second, this first ship in line. Maybe I can try to take them both out. And we're gonna back up. See what ship is this? Small split freighter. Medium split freighter. Small flip split freighter. Draft is 20 feet. We'll set tube two up for that. High speed, contact influence, draft will do 21 and a half feet. Oh, we'll do 22 feet. Oh, set. I think this ship is definitely armed, so I'm going to target this one first. Scope. Yeah, we'll just wait. Okay, should be better now. Let's take another look. Okay, first merchant is completely unarmed. Second merchant is indeed armed. So I'm just going to hit number two and surface and we'll take out number one with our three inch gun. I don't want to really waste our precious torpedoes on something we can easily take out with the gun, but this guy, I'd rather not be shot at. Uh, tube one's on high speed. Thanks for letting me know though. All right, we're gonna do one more update here. Let's see, they're saying AOB is at around 45 degrees or 50, 60 degrees. I will agree with that. 
Range, 2,000 yards, just over 2,000 yards. We'll do another range reading since he's so close. Like that. All right, 1,494 yards. That sounds good. Down the scope. All right, we'll wait. All right, it looks like he's staying at a constant speed uh, or distance of 1,470-ish yards, 80-ish yards. Up scope. Lock on target. Open tube one. All right, tube one, fire. Tube one. Right, tube one away, runtime 52 seconds. tracking our first ship. Yes, sir. Sweep it. Bearing. Three. Five. Eight. All right, time's up. Head in the bow. I think that ship just launched a star shell. Um, we'll see if that'll be enough to bring her under. It is a nice and clean looking ship, I will agree. Looks like she's already slowing down in the water and listening to the bow. Look, her rudder's kind of sticking up in the air now. She's definitely going to go down. So we'll go ahead and watch. Let's see, where is your friend? Friend's not moving at a very quick pace, so... Once this thing is completely disabled and they abandon ship... I'll surface. Let's go ahead and begin moving forward again. And go, and the bow is... There we go, she's going down. All right, surface the boat. And there she goes, all ahead flank. Oh. All right, scope down. Let's go ahead and get the gun crew on. All right, open fire on the second ship. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and aim for the water line. Yes, sir. Aiming for waterline. And we can go ahead and slow the boat down yes, to standard sir. speed. Ahead, stand and first that gunshot of the patrol is a miss. <laughs> oh, hit her in the crane. There go, good waterline hits. Mark, the mod is called Fall of the Rising Sun Ultimate. It's on Subsim. Oh, that didn't look good for their health.
give them a shell of a time. That is a good pun right there. And she's going down. Alright, secure battle yes, stations. Sir. Yes, sir. Secure from battle stations. Hello, Mikkel. And that's two ships going down. Let's see, let's check our log. So we sunk the small, the split merchant, which was a 7,000 tonner, and then the small split freighter, only 1,600 tons. So I think we made the right call going, using the deck gun. And there she goes. All right, well, uh, going standard speed. Okay, we'll continue on our course. Move these guys back. Perfect. All right, so that was pretty good. That was a good attack. Let's go ahead and clean. Oh no, tabbed out. Let's go ahead and clean up our map. Yeah, Deacon, they do seem to do that. Uh, it's a three inch deck gun. Crew's looking pretty happy right now. How many rounds do I have? Still 120 rounds. It's like, oh, I actually have armor piercing shells. That's good to know. I didn't know that actually. Huh. It's interesting I have both. One second. All right. Uh, task force in the west northwest, so it's already going through our patrol area. And the Java Sea. Yep. April 29th, 1942. Uh, standard is the best. Yep, the water is indeed fairly shallow there. I have a merchant. Make slow closing, 355. Yeah, it's heading straight for us. Looks like it's a lone merchant ship, so I think we'll go ahead and use the deck gun as well. If it's not armed. 
Uh, we're pretty close to it. Oh, that's why. So the weather's absolute crap. Um... Periscope depth. Periscope depth. I don't know if I'll be able to get visual contact. Oh, apparently they see it. Three one zero. There she is. That's a pretty large ship. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, identify. This out of the way. Hansa Freighter. I think we actually shot at this earlier in a previous episode. Hansa Freighter. 7,827 tons. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin this process. All ahead slow. One third, please. One third. Mark. Angle on bow. Not too bad. 60 degrees. Speed will plug in seven knots for now. Say she's going slow. We'll do the speed the old fashioned way. All right, take another reading. 6,000 yards, fuck. Estimated target speed, plot shows eight knots. Um, let's begin reversing. Yes, sir. Back slow. AOB is currently 80 degrees. Draft is 29.5 meters. We'll set 32. Two. Opening bow tubes. Let's try this one more time. Range 6,400 or 648 yards and rising. Plot shows eight knots. Okay. All right. We're going with your eight knots, boys. Prepare to fire. Tube one. Yeah, we need to fire. Fire tube one. What's our AOB? Yeah, 105, but that's right. Tube two, fire. That run time's gonna be extremely short. Just over, what, 36 seconds. That torpedo's off. Torpedo impact. Oh my god, we have a circle runner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blow ballast. Blow main ballast. No, emergency dive, please. Emergency dive! Sixty-two feet, dropping below it. That's our keel, though. Oh God. Oh my goodness. It's a magnetic Earth pistol too. Ooh. Shit. Hold damn it, fifty percent hold damage. We probably would be dead. Um to level out here. Current 
Or if we... Okay, we're able to maintain depth. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and emergency surface. Yes, sir. Blow balance. Blowing main balance. Yes, sir. Surface the boat. I think because it was a magnetic pistol, we were saved. If that was a direct impact, I think we'd be dead. Luckily. <laughs> Alright. We're coming up. I think this is what uh, any submarine skipper would do. <laughs> Surface, get the fuck out of here. Alright. Hopefully this merchant ship isn't damaged. Or doesn't have guns. It sure does. Let's get out of here. Let's stay at yes, 70 sir. feet. New deck. Six, eight. I guess he was armed. Yes, sir. Good to know. Six, eight. Yes, sir. Hard to starboard. Yes, sir. All right. Hard to starboard. Six, zero. C. Damage control should be. Yeah, they're getting. Yeah. Okay, we're okay. Honestly, I think in real life we'd have a buttload of flooding and we would have to surface. That's kind of why I did that. But uh, think I guess our boat's okay. It's honestly a lot less. I mean, we have a. <laughs> Holy crap! We would have way more damage than is represented right now. What? That's kind of a goof. Okay. Well, I wonder how our merchant ship's doing. Uh, she looks like she's listing. Yeah, she's lifting, listing to the stern. I don't see where our hit was. Yeah, I did not see that big, those big guns on the poop deck there. Oh wow, this thing's pretty heavily armed. All right, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know if, all right. Well, we have the ships. Tube one ready, sir. Honestly, our boat would be gone. All right, we'll track its course. I do have an F gun right now. All right, let's see if we have visual on the merchant ship. And it come up a few feet, it seems. There we go. Periscope is breaking. Oh, follow the nearest ship. Zero six eight. What are the odds? Like of me checking the hydrophone at that moment and seeing uh, I it's like that torpedo is way off course. I mean, in real life, obviously our hydrophone operator would be shitting his pants and telling us, hey, <laughs> hey boss, you have a circle runner. Periscope depth. Unfortunately, they don't tell you that in the game. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. The whole circle runner thing is the reason the torpedo running hot straight and normal came about. All right, I don't see the, the enemy ship. 
Looks like it's chugging along just fine. All right, scope down, yes, surface the boat. Surface the boat. Prepare to surface. Prepare to surface. Be ready on all four engines. Stand by to charge batteries. Give me some rise on the planes. Blowing main ballast. Bearing six seven. Yeah, it was defective. All right, 28, 27. All right, we're rising fine. All right, we will not be recharging batteries. Yes, sir. Let's get around this guy. Radar repaired, sir. Oh, that's sweet. Apparently our radar was damaged. Oh, these guys are pretty messed up. Guess we have some damage on the conning tower. Oh, we have we have way more damage than I thought we did. Oh, I think a lot of this is from the gunnery, but Oh, we're okay. We're going to sink this guy now. Absolutely. That's amazing, though. 54% hull damage. The merchant ship's moving slow. Let's go ahead and go down the periscope depth. Periscope depth. Yeah. Now close up with the damage. It's that. There's actually. This reminds me of a lot, a uh, picture. There's a picture of a Type 9 U-boat and that was hit by a bomb. And the whole like aft section of the boat is just absolutely shredded off. It looks a lot like this, except even worse. They managed to get it home. Uh, it's from various movies. Uh, Tommy. Alright, let's try to get close to this guy. Wonder if we have a visual on him right now. He's currently around 0, 055 degrees. There she is. Looks like. All right. Yeah, we're good. All yes, one third. Lock on target. One third. Lock range nine thousand yard or nine hundred yards. AOB. It's actually not too shabby. We'll do eighty degrees. Very Set. Five, and we'll wait. Let's start the clock. Reroute, reroute power to structural integrity. Yeah, that's right, Big Papa. Ugh. Bearing four, nine. God, I want a Star Trek game. Ugh, don't get me started. <laughs> Alright, we'll let this run for a little bit. We'll take another reading and uh, my career should give me a decent speed. It's like 874 yards. Very close range. 
Mark. It's like plot shows eight knots. And we hit in the bow last time, so let's change speed to seven and a quarter. Mark. All right, tubes one and two will be fired. High speed contact for both. High speed contact. Torpedo depth. What is the... What's the draft of this thing? 29.5 feet. 31. 31. All right, open tube one and tube two. Oh, that's scary finish. I'll, I'll avoid it. <laughs> All right, angle on bow is currently 100 and probably 110 AOB. All right, tube one, fire. Tube two, we'll, tube two, we'll do a one degree offset to the right. Tube two, fire. All right, both torpedoes are away. Let's see. Bearing two, three. Torpedo in the water. See so your runtime, 25 seconds. Looks like they're both heading towards uh, Bearing two, the target, one. thankfully. And see the wakes. Bearing one, eight. Torpedo impact. There we go. One impact. Bearing one. It's like tube two was a dud. One of them was a dud. Bearing one three. Yeah, thankfully none of them were circle runners. It just uh, it either missed or ran under. Bearing one one. Bearing one zero. And she's listing pretty heavily to the stern, so I think you're gonna go under. Missed, sir. Yeah, definitely. We'll go ahead and use some time compression. Yeah, definitely we'll be checking my hydrophones after I launch. She's pretty low in the water. I'm just gonna hang around and wait. It's weird. All right. Yeah, you'd think she'd be, she's doomed, right? Yeah. The whole aft section of the ship is currently pretty much underwater. Five zero. Let's go ahead and go down to around 80 feet, and I'll stop. Uh, the hole in my boat. You mean this one right here? My Mark 14 uh, happened to be a circle runner. Yep, yeah, and with a magnetic pistol, it detonated over the bow of my boat. Somehow we're alive. I'm pretty sure we'd be dead. What, the warhead's 500 pounds of Torpex? 643 pounds of Torpex. So... Yeah, uh, we. I don't think we'd be alive. Or at least the boat would not be operable. Is this thing going to require another torpedo? I think I might have to do so. So let's go ahead and start moving and back up. Do I have decoys? No, I do not. We'll come up to periscope depth. And we'll launch a stern tube just to finish it off and get this over with. I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'd definitely be very nervous to dive deep. We're gonna try to maneuver into a better position here. 
New course, three, one. All right, perfect. Yes, go sir. ahead and begin backing up. All right, let's go ahead and set up tube number five. Zero degree offset angle, torpedo depth. We'll do 15 feet. That should be fine. Speed high, contact pistol. Lock on target, speed is zero. Although she is adrift, but we're so close, I don't think I'll really have to take into account the current. Not worried about it. This is very intense music for this. Alright. 970 yards away. I'm closing. Alright. I think that should be fine. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's good. Range is a little off. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. All right, two, five, let's go ahead and open it. Eh, it might be a dud, it's very possible. Oh, I, I know what I was gonna say. I didn't even update my AOB. The American TDC was actually rather sophisticated. It updated automatically, even through all those crazy maneuvers we were doing to get into position. So, anyway. Quite a piece of machinery there. All right, two five fire. Yeah, I've played Wolfpack Dragon Den Studios. In the water. Uh, I have quite a few videos of it on the channel as well. Just make sure the torpedo. Yep, it's heading towards the target. It's very nice. And on the map, it shows it's good. We'll watch in this view. Get rid of the HUD. Please be a hit. And we'll get All right. That has to, oh yeah. Well, that was fast. Oh, I thought she was already. Her abandoning ship. There's life rafts in the water. And she's lighting on fire. Hey, White Raven. Thanks for the five dollars, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is an American boat. Bye bye. You have no idea how much damage you've caused. Emotionally and physically. <laughs> Alright, she's going down. Let's see. Is all of our damage repaired? Uh, looks like our 50 caliber machine gun is damaged, but big whoop. And uh, hull integrity is 54%, so we're going to have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and secure from battle stations. Sure, Alright, and all ahead two yes. thirds. We want to get out here with some sense of urgency. Yes, sir. Let's see. Torpedo situation is okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Bye bye, merchant ship. Oh, he can take off his little headphones. I I guess I could as well. All right, let's go ahead. We'll surface the boat and all head standard. Scope's up. Let's lower that. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Yeah, our, our precious 50 caliber machine gun. Very useful. That's pretty crazy, though. Looks real good from up here. A 
Well, you know what? Despite that damage, we're going to continue onward. I feel like in real life, we'd be uh, making a beeline for Darwin. Good thing this is all fake. Imagine the stream ends with Wolfpack hitting a mine. It's very possible. <laughs> Submarine has windows. Oh, we got a ma message. U.S. aircraft carriers Hornet and Enterprise set sail from Pearl Harbor for the Coral Sea under command of Admiral William Bull Halsey. Oh boy. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. I'm terrified. Oh! No, thank you, Mr. Island. I'd rather not. Get one more contact and return to base. Well, I want to at least complete my objective. New message received. Lexington and Yorktown link up 250 miles west of that area and begin to refuel. All right, two aircraft heading northeast. Let's go ahead and just dive down to 80 feet. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still an operational port, but I mean, I, I guess, sure, I could have gone to Fremantle, but... Um, yeah, in real life, I probably would have died. Definitely. Uh, the USS Tang was hit by a circle runner, and they managed to abandon ship, only to be captured by the Japanese. But yeah, I would not be still sailing around, definitely. Current depth, four, zero. What's our depth under keel? Before I embarrass myself. 54 feet. Let's just go to periscope depth. Periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. I'm guessing Silent Hunter 3 has. Uh this is set during World War II in the Pacific, Dragon. You just play as an American fleet boat during the Second World War. Uh, there's not much deeper water around me. Sure, I could go through these little pockets, but we'll probably stay submerged for the day. Hey, thanks, Big Papa. We'll stay submerged during the day and surface at night. <clears throat> Surface, oh, that's standard. New message received. Yeah, they're all right, you know, average quality. Hey, thanks, Brian Robinson, for more duct tape. Looks like you need it. That emergency dive was a good call, though. Yeah, definitely. If only I realized it was coming for me sooner. 
At first, I was kind of confused. I was like, oh, it's just deviated off its course. Um, but nope, obviously, it was more than that. It was a circle runner. All right, let's go ahead and dive down the periscope. Periscope. Um, yeah, you can do that, Dragon. Although, or you can play with little icons like this so you have a navigator. It's very similar to Wolfpack, except this, you experience the whole war. It's absolute, it's single player. And, yeah, obviously this one is set in the Pacific during World War II. And you command an American fleet boat. A Silent Hunter 3 and 5, you command a U-boat in the Atlantic. How deep do you think I can go with the hole in my side? Well, I'm not going to test it. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just going to constantly hover over the blow ballast button when going deep, just in case. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'd rather not bring it to test depth. I had one third. All right, we'll hang out down here. Let's go to radar depth, and nothing surface to boat. Yeah, it definitely, uh, White Raven, that's definitely, I think it brings something different to my videos as opposed to others, so. I haven't played too much of Silent Hunter 2. I mean, it's competent, but it, I'd prefer 3. Silent Hunter 2 doesn't have a uh, dynamic campaign. Alright, down to periscope depth. Two aircraft hanging straight for me. We'll go down to 80 feet. Alright, down we go. That it makes me very uncomfortable. My goodness. Current death four zero. I mean, SH-2 kind of did take off. That's why we have Silent Hunter 3, 4, and 5. But yeah, Destroyer Command was a nice uh, addition. I definitely would like to see another Destroyer Command type of game. Which uh, we might be getting kind of with uh, Wolfpack. Looks like someone's working on, I don't know what you call it, a modification. Uh, to add the flower class Corvette as a playable ship. Oh, he said he's going to do the RP thing with it? Alright, search and destroy enemy shipping whenever found. Captain authorized autonomy in the area. Sink them all. Alright, so we can do whatever we want, I guess. I'd rather not stick around here, to be honest.
Yeah, U boat. U boat is only single player. No, I was actually thinking, I, I meant, and so my Flying Circus series ended uh, last week, the Kaiser Schlock campaign, and I meant to, in its place, upload a U-Boat video. However, <laughs> I've been playing this uh, instead, so. I do want to put more U-Boat on the channel, but uh, I don't know, man. I, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with that game right now. Japanese forces occupy Tulagi, Solomon Islands. USS Spearfish evacs six army officers and six navy officers. Eleven army nurses and one navy nurse and one civilian. My modding capabilities, unfortunately, are poor. It uses Unity, so I guess it'd be an interesting way to learn uh, learn Unity. Uh, there's a lot I'd want to change with U-Boat, though. Uh, yeah, they put it in the beta too soon. Or early access, whatever the hell you want to call it. I mean, I want to like U-Boat so bad. And I'll still support it. I'll make videos on it and everything, because I want submarine simulators to come back in a pretty big way. And I, I do believe eventually the game will work out all of its kinks. I do want to try out the new manual targeting stuff, though, that they added for it. India for repairs? That's a, that's a long ways to go for repairs. I'm probably better off going down here. Uh, India's extremely far. Right. Yeah, I guess uh, Fremantle is slightly closer. Also, Fremantle is a sub base, so. Tank mechanic. Yeah, and there's also the, uh, the plane, the aircraft mechanic one. Want a good Age of Sail game? There's that Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, which I think went into early access on Steam recently. I need to pick that up. I do want to do stuff on that game, as well as Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts eventually. I I see it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna build an entire fleet of ships, all HMS Nelson style. That's all that's all there's gonna be. My destroyers will be mini Nelsons with just forward firing guns. That might not be my first, like, playthrough of it, but that's going to be a playthrough. Mark my words. Speaking of HMS Nelson, what a wonderful looking ship. Mwah! Just chef's kiss right there. That thing's beautiful. Yeah, uh, right here was some pretty good hunting grounds. I might do that again. Oh, 
Honestly, I kind of want to head over here towards the Solomons. Deacon, no, do not agree with him. Finnish Jaeger is about to lose his mod privileges over this, calling my calling that the Nelson and Rodney ugly. Literally the pinnacle of battleship design right there. Uh, ever play We Dive at Dawn? No, I thought about it. Um, it looks interesting. All right. 173 officers and 2,317 men of the naval reaffirm their loyalty and devotion to their country and families, their country, families, and friends. Uh, from Corregidor Fortress. That's interesting. They said last transmission from the island received. Huh. Um, let's see. The main Jap... Uh, the main Japanese striking force, which is built around the carrier Shukaku and Zuikaku, enter the Coral Sea and bomb Port Moresby. Oh, another merchant. Oh boy, we got a we got a lot of hatred in the comment section right now about uh, battleships. HMS Dreadnought is your waifu. I I can respect that. I can respect that. You know Iowa, that's a good that's a good ship right there as well. My uncle uh, served on it. I think, okay, if I'm being honest, I think the Iowa-class battleships are probably my favorite. Well, the Iowa-class outlasted every single other battleship, so there's that as well. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. Yes, sir. New course. Seven. New course. Seven. 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 Yes, sir. Ahead full. <laughs> oh, this is good. Let's stir this pot even further. Let's just let's keep it going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, sir. All ahead flank. Ahead flank. Hey, the King George class was pretty nice. King George.
Iowa is a great place to grow corn. Oh, that's fantastic, Lee. It, it, wait, which one's your love, Soviet? Bismarck? Is that what you're talking about? Get out of here, wise guys. That with that whack opinion. <laughs> no, I I can agree. Uh, the Japanese battleships just looked like they stacked shit on top of each other. It literally looks like a mud pie. Anyway, let's, let's close in on our friends. Hey, what can I say? I'm a man... <laughs> All right, let's see. Where are these fellas? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No visual contact. Still, it's pretty dark out. I think there is nothing. All these hot takes are... Uh, uh, this is a great... This is funny. This has been a great conversation. This is probably going to be my last attack as well, folks. I mean, yeah... Part of me likes them, and part of me doesn't. I don't know. I'm torn on them. Yes, sir. New course. Eight. New seven. course. Eight. Seven. Ooh, that's a thick boy right there. Two big tankers. That is a hot take, wise guys. Yeah, I don't think any of those uh, those Japanese ships were ever equipped with tomahawks either. A uh, Soviet unicorn. Yeah, I'm gonna take them out with torpedoes. Let's go ahead and go down the periscope depth. Periscope depth. Dive, dive. Your Zern Lane Waifu. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and man battle stations. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. Current depth, four, zero. 
Twitch mess? No, not yet. Um, I, oh, I do have a Twitch channel, but I don't stream on there very often. I will eventually move over to Twitch, though. Hey, thanks, wise guys. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for tuning in. Large European oiler. Yes, sir. New deck. Five, two. Yes, sir. Five, two. the target. Three thousand seven hundred and seven yards. Sounds good. Angle on bow currently around forty five degree angle. Yeah. Looks good. Alright, we'll wait. Yeah, we'll use some time compression and let this guy close in on us. I'm pretty sure I'm hearing whales. You guys hear that? That squeaking and wailing? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there's whale noises in this mod. Kyra said there are whale noises. I wasn't too sure. I thought it was just like squeaking doors and stuff, but uh, it seems he's right. They do sound like whales now that I'm playing the mod. Let's see. Just plot shows speed nine knots. In course of three, five, nine degrees. So that course is pretty accurate. All right, we'll plug that in. It's like they said they're going slow, so I'm not believing. I'm not buying the whole. Uh, the whole nine knots thing. Start the time. One time for a minute. We'll let it run for three minutes just to get an accurate reading. Seven and a half knots. Two minutes, we'll let it run for three. Mark. Eight knots. No, it's a Japanese flag. Oh no, that, that's sad dragon. Protect the whales. Throw away your straw. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Yep, they're, they're saying target plot shows course of 8 knots, course 4 degrees. Or speed 8 knots, course 4 degrees. Oh my gosh, the less dyslexia, I guess. Alright, angle on bow is currently... It's looking good. AOB is... Oh, we don't want that. 81 degrees. Let's find this large European oiler. 
10,000 tonner, draft 35.1 feet. So we'll set draft to 32 feet on all torpedoes, speed high, influence. We'll shoot at this guy first. Arrow B, 86 degrees. All right, open tubes one and two. Alright, tube one. Fire. Tube two. Fire. Alright. Lock on target. Range 1,400 yards. Angle on bow. It's very close. We'll do 85 degrees. Set. Speed still eight knots set to three and four open. So all looks good. Angle on bow or bow torpedoes angle track, so it'll hit at a 94 degree angle. That's fine. Tube three fire, tube four fire. All right, impact on the first crater. Oh, now. Oh, no, it exploded prematurely. It's about to say, hot damn. Oh, no, that that one's off. We'll see if we get uh, the second merchant. And it, one of them exploded prematurely as well. So one of them is an absolute, two of them. That freighter's gonna get away scot free, it seems. We might get a hit on this guy right in the middle, though. There we go. She's going down. Let's go ahead and get on the move and turn around. I'm gonna try to hit the second oiler with my stern torpedoes. Uh, that sucks that that solution on this uh, last one was off like that. It's not zigzagging either. Torpedo missed, sir. She is going to move out of the way of uh, the wrecked freighter. Um, I think I'll try to aim with hit a tor with a torpedo here. I guess I could do a surface attack. It's like she has changed course. Maybe, maybe surfacing and firing a torpedo. I don't. As far as I can tell, there are no guns. All right, scope down, surface the boat. I'll do a Better surface attack. Still no guns. I think we're okay. Yeah, it is pretty dark out, unfortunately. 
Well, we're gonna find out if this guy has guns soon. Looks like she is now zigzagging. Changing course. Oh, she's just zigzagging. Alright, we'll get pretty close. Oh, sh- Oh god, is that a gun? Let's turn away. I can't tell if that is a gun on- Oh, she's definitely armed. Okay. Let's turn away. His visibility is rather poor. He speeds slow. Let's begin timing. I'm actually going to try to maneuver around her. I'll keep visual contact and I'll do a surface attack, but I want to get out of range of those guns. at a minute. Is she dead in the water? What's going on? Yeah, you just give the orders and they'll they'll switch to electrics and everything. You're just a captain. Speed is two knots. Bows around 75 degrees. Port. The speed I got was two knots. Saying it plot shows eight knots. We'll put two. Fifteen feet for both. Target 1,640 yards and closing. Let's see what they—they they still say eight knots. I know she's not going that fast. We'll do two. Open two five. Two five. Fire. All head flank. Shit, they're shooting at us. Hi. Goes our second torpedo. She's away. Oh my god, that was so bad. I wonder why that was. No, we're not going to do this.
this. All right, let's get out of here. I'll re-engage. I wonder... Was the position keeper not on? I wonder why it wasn't updated. But my plot was behind her. That's just... Yeah. Maybe she was going eight knots. I highly doubt it. Torpedo missed, sir. That's... Let's see. We'll begin reloads. We'll, we'll get into a new position here. Once she stops zigzagging. Try to re-engage here. New course. Okay, it looks like she studied up on a course heading northeast. Doesn't look like she's still zigzagging. Start. Let's go ahead and Follow that yes, course. New course. Four, New course. Three, four, three. One, two. Yeah, the rough weather could. The rough weather was probably the uh, mark. Definitely the reason the first torpedo prematurely exploded. I'm sure it, uh, it smacked right into a wave. Eight knots. Okay, let's get around. We're currently going eight knots, so we need to go a little faster. And go ahead and close on their track. I'll also adjust this as well. Streams almost three hours. <laughs> Don't remind them. Yeah, I know it's it's been a long one. Let's see the current sh the course of this ship around two three zero. This is the best way to go about this. Good enough. No, I don't have any sound contacts right now. Yeah, that probably would have killed me. Alright, we're probably good to dive. Yep, let's go ahead and go down to yes, Periscope Path. Quite a few ships this patrol. Alright, we'll uh, close in towards this ship's track. It should be just fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look.
There she is. Range is currently over 3,000 yards. Speed, 8 knots. Angle on bow. Do a 45 degree angle. Turn on position keeper. 2-1. No offset. Let's see, the draft of the ship was what, 31 feet? 35.1 feet. 35. We'll do 36 and a half feet, and we'll launch one torpedo at him. High speed, influence pistol. All right, should be good. Scope down, and we'll wait. All right, and this is looking good right now. Let's turn just a little bit. All right, there we go. Yep, this looks good. Let's go up. See angle on bow, ninety degrees is what they're saying. Uh, it's just shy of that. We'll do eighty-five. And one last range bearing, range check. One thousand yards. Open two more. All right, tube one. Fire. Well, it's just far one. Last time one was definitely enough. In the water. That looks pretty good. It prematurely detonated. God. No, did it hit the target? I don't think it hit the target. Oh my goodness. 36 feet. Speed high. Influence. Open tube two. We're really getting the Mark 14 experience here. All right, everything should be fine. Fire, Fire tube, tube two. two. All right, there we go. Torpedo in the water. Let's see if this one, the, maybe this uh, large European oiler has like a shield or something. This one looks good. <laughs> and I don't know. Let's take a look at her. How's our friend doing? Um, I think she's listing. She's certainly slowing down. Uh, she might be... Yeah, that's a big ship. The other one went down with one hit. All right, let's head east southeast. Yes, sir. New course one, one, seven. And we'll stalk her for a little bit. Torpedo situation is pitiful. My goodness. I'm going four knots and we're 
doing pretty good here. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, it's, the sun is starting to rise. I don't think she's going eight knots anymore. We'll see, however. Yeah, she's barely moving. I think I might. Let's try it. Six knots. I think I want to stick to stalking her. Don't wait for a better opportunity. Looks like she is listening. Yeah, I will finish her. Don't worry about that. So I want to wait for a better opportunity to do so. Let's go flank. We should be able to overtake her. And I'm going to launch my stern torpedo at her. Oh, she's still chugging along with that one hit. Oh, we'll overtake her. Use all of her battery power in the process. Looks like we're down... Yeah, I'm not going to surface. There's a lot of guns I have to contend with. Okay, let's take a look. One minute, two minutes, all right, up scope, go, five, three, two, one, zero mark, Let's see how fast you're going, seven and a half knots. Eight knots. Wow. Okay. Look at you. It's going to change course. Hard to port. Yes, sir. To port. We'll shoot our aft tube. I'm debating doing contact this time. High contact draft will do 20 feet. What? Yeah, 20 feet should be good. Zero offset angle. Turn around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, rudder amidships. Open two five. Let's check on the map. Uh, <laughs> do us uh, like 
Yeah, it's closer to 70 or 80. All right, tube five. Hopefully it's good enough. It's really not. I think my first guess was better. Let me let me see. She's almost at a 90 degree angle right now. All right, we're going with this. Tube five, fire. to the target hopefully it doesn't uh prematurely detonate again like so many of our torpedoes have thus far running well i guess that's what I, what I said it at 25 feet right 15 feet maybe i forgot yeah that's gonna be a hit as long as the stupid mark 14s don't screw me over again we should be good bye bye mr tanker man Caught fire. Torpedo impact. She's still sailing. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and start yes, sir. stalking her again. Am I really gonna have to? That other tanker literally exploded and went to the bottom in like three seconds flat. This one is uh, this one's a tough one. Definitely a tough tanker. Looks like she is listing pretty heavily, however. Alright, well, time to follow. Again, we have one torpedo left, and watch it be a complete dud. Oh, she's dead in the water, I think. She's slowing down. Let's take a look. The problem with deck gunning her is all these guns. She is kitted out with weapons. It looks like. Let's go ahead and time her. Three seconds or three minutes. Yeah, she's not moving much. Three minutes. Two knots. Tube three. Let's come up a few feet. Yes, sir. New deck. Angle on bow. Four. Eighty degrees. Range. Yes, okay. Five. It's fine. Oh boy. Tube three. Fire. Scope down before they actually hurt me. Torpedo. 
torpedo in the water. Don't be a circle runner. Oh, I might actually miss. I just want to miss. Oh man, I screwed that up. It's my G. I'm getting tired. Okay, we're gonna have to surface and deck gunner. I'll head to flank. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. This is what happens. <laughs> missed, sir. My play too long. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll surface, head flank, and try to get out of range of her gun so we can engage with the deck gun. Surface. Yes, sir. Surface the boat. Prepare to surface. Prepare to surface. Be ready on all four engines. Stand by to charge batteries. Give me some rise on the plane. Let's go ahead and aim for weapons. Oh no! Glob, 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 glob. Where is she? She is. Open fire, crew. Oh yeah, she does have a pretty big gun. There we go, that's a hit. Starting to hit her now. No, yeah, it's definitely going to be hard for my crew to aim. They're getting some good hits now. Looks like they found a rhythm. There we go.
probably hold fire now. Yes, sir. Yep, she's going down. Let's get those guys off. Oh, look how... Oh, I thought she was already going under. Nope. Yeah, let's see here. We've sunk quite a few. Split merchant, then two 10,000 ton liners. Yeah, time to head back to base. We will do that. Let's go ahead and yes, secure from battle stations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Really? Secure from battle stations. It's been a good run. We're pretty damaged as well, so it's re it's really time to go. Oh, she's already slid under. It's really just wreckage up above the waves now. I am curious with those, uh, that miss, what exactly happened there. Yeah, we are currently recharging batteries, because that was odd. Um, I've been obviously using the German TDC and saw 103, so switching to the American is, I think, throwing me off a little bit. Because uh, the position keeper was always on. Maybe I need to turn it off whenever... It's probably because... I need to take the range, get everything set up, and then turn it on. I shouldn't have it on the whole time. I think that might be screwing it up. I don't know. That's odd. I'm kind of disappointed with my performance. Uh, but I'm going to justify it by saying these streams are not nearly as serious as my, uh, my real videos. So that's my excuse. I'm really just goofing around. Having a good time. God, my back. Holy cow. Alright, we got a message. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Heading east very fast. Looks like they're flying away. Alright, one sec. I'll be right back. Single contact. Bearing. One, seven, five. Long range.
right, I'm back, guys. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see. Okay, thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. I don't know. I'm just... I am not doing nearly as well as I do in my real videos, but... <laughs> What's good and bad for your teeth? A brick. What's red and bad for your teeth? Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Hopefully that plane just flies on by. Yep. Oh. Well, it's not. Where is it? Oh, I hit it. Her bombs way too late. She's smoking. Current I can't believe I actually hit it. Zero. That doesn't look too good. Current death six zero. Yes, sir. New death six nine. Ahead one third. Huh. Interesting. That was fun. See, that is something I would never have done <laughs> in a real video. Uh, all right. Anyway, we have news. Let's let's sit together and uh, read the news. 173 officers and 2,317 men of the Navy reaffirmed their loyalty. Oh, we've already read that. Corregidor Island has surrendered to the Japanese. The Philippines is theirs. Well, that's depressing. Cut through the islands. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose I could do that. Yeah, I think it was a Betty. It's a merchant ship. We'll sail right on by because we don't have much to take it out with. Because I did have deck on ammo, but I'm ready to head home. Let's see here. Admiral Fletcher now launched a strike from the Yorktown against what he thought was a major Japanese task force, but which turned out to only be two light cruisers and two gunboats. However, aircraft from the Lexington, dot, dot, dot. Can we get a part two, please? No. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> oh. At about 0800 hours, both Japanese and American carrier groups spot each other and send out attack aircraft. The Japanese succeed in torpedoing the Lexington, which severely damaged, which severely damaged and later abandoned. The Americans did. Why do the messages keep cutting off? So Be advised, major naval engagements in the Coral Sea have ended. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, hopefully I don't get bombed again. That's unfortunate that these messages are cutting off. USS Porpoise rescues five United States Army Air Force pilots near New Guinea.
English relieves Withers as Commander Submarine Specific. Lockwood relieves Wicks as Commander Submarine Southwest Specific. Alright, and we're almost home. Ooh, it looks like the Taltog sunk another, sunk I-28. Like USS Triton also sunk a Japanese submarine, I-164. Yep, Silent Hunter 4 indeed models rescue missions. You can uh, get sent to rescue pilots and everything. I'm sure this is a friendly... Yeah, a couple of ships. They sure are. There they are. Yep, two American cargo ships. Looks like a Liberty cargo. And then some other freighter in the lead. Do, 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 do. Alright, coming in the Fremantle. Yippee! Yeah, no problem, Brukitis. I'm glad you like them. Like I said, I've been uh, really into this game lately. But this will probably be the last Silent Hunter 4 stream of the week. I do want to stream Flying Circus tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. Alright, we'll go ahead and end patrol at Fremantle. Alright, so yada yada, we completed all of our objectives. We sunk five merchant ships for 37,045 tons of shipping. Alright, I got the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal to <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Joe. For extraordinary heroism as commanding officer of the USS Pike during the four, I don't know why it says four, we've only had three patrols, war patrols of that vessel. Anyway. Shiny new sub models are constantly rolling off the assembly line as the war effort ratchets it up. Due to your performance, you've been placed first in line to receive one of these newer models as they arrive at your base. You could, however, turn it down if you prefer your current model. Do you take the new submarine and continue? Absolutely. I've been given the command of a new submarine. Okay, the most decisive oh. naval battle in U.S. history took place at Midway. We had surprise on our side and even some luck. On June 4th, our search planes discovered the Japanese fleet northeast of Midway. An air battle quickly developed. The turning point came at mid-morning, when the Japanese fighters were drawn down to sea level by attacking the US torpedo bombers launched from Midway, the vast majority of which were destroyed. Their great sacrifice cleared the skies above for the next waves of American dive bombers sent from our aircraft carriers. Within minutes, three Japanese carriers were ablaze. The fourth Japanese carrier retaliated with two air attacks. The most vulnerable U.S. carrier, the one just patched at Pearl Harbor, absorbed both attacks, suffering heavy damage. Unfortunately, it was sunk later during salvage efforts by torpedoes from a Japanese submarine. American scout aircraft subsequently located the last Japanese carrier later in the afternoon. Our carriers launched a final strike of dive bombers and soon it was sunk. The Japanese fleet retreated. We won. We have scored a clear victory against the Japanese fleet, losing one carrier and one destroyer while the Japanese have lost four carriers. Besides that, we've managed to capture a Japanese Zero, which can help us to understand the technology behind it and use this knowledge against the Japanese. This huge victory could even represent a turning point 
in the Pacific War. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. USS Snapper, a salmon class submarine. Got a promotion to hand out. Here you go, Chief. Go ahead and get a command. See you later, Mark. Thanks for tuning in, man. I'm just going to check out my new boat and then we'll get out of here. So we're going to replace this 50 caliber machine gun with a 20 millimeter anti aircraft gun. Be out of your mind. Torpedoes, obviously, we only have the Mark 14s. And uh, I guess that's it. It's not much different than our current boat, but uh, let's see what's the torpedo. We have significantly more torpedoes. I guess, yeah, a few more. We have quite a few aft torpedoes. How many reserves did I have? Only eight, I think. So we have two more torpedoes in the bow. Um, and then four more in the stern. So yeah, uh, definitely a boost. Let's see. Um, let me move these guys on the deck watch. I think that's about it, folks. Um, do I have medals? No medals and recruit some more people, but no thank you. I'll keep who I got here. This crew's proven themselves to, they handle themselves rather well, you know, taking a Mark 14 to the bow section of their boat and all. Well, that's gonna end it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been a fun stream. I'm glad you guys like the streams, even if they are less serious and, uh, my performance isn't as good as during my regular Silent Hunter videos. I think I've struck a good balance of just having fun and interacting with the chat and also playing this game, but... Yeah, if anyone needed a new sub, it was me. Uh, that's right. Definitely. But anywho... Thanks, guys, for watching, as always. I'll go ahead and uh, end the stream. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow with IL-2 Flying Circus, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.